In America now, Bernie Sanders is going gangbusters because after years of listening to politicians talk about some, nothing that matters to them, the public are finally listening to a politician talk about something that does. Inequality. They are re-inspired. They want change. I believe that audiences want change too. And I believe that a tragic love story based around two lovers from opposite sides of the wealth gap could work. And although our story has lots of laughs and great characters, it is a tearjerker that will ultimately see its audience filled with hope. So how do I know this? Because we've had readings. The last one, the audience was in tears. In fact, one woman was sobbing so loudly that one of our actors missed his lines and he was reading from a script. And I have video evidence of this. So that is our goal, to put a lump not only in Australia's but the whole world's throat. Because just like inequality, this story is global. Imogen King, one of the country's richest young women, has just auditioned for the role of Eliza in My Fair Lady. But before she could finish her song, the director tells her he wants someone who can sing with soul. <sighs> Imogen is incensed. She believes the director can't hear her, he can only see her money. But then she finds out that the same director is hosting a talent show for homeless women. And so she decides to hire a, support, a homeless support worker to train her to look destitute so that she can audition for this. She believes if, she, if he can't see who she is, that he will judge her by her talent and not her wealth. Trouble is, the young man that she has hired turns out not only to be the love of her life, but he will also help her see what she truly needs, a purpose. Sadly, he will do this ultimately by dying at the hands of her father the powerful John King. Now the title of this film is also the nickname of this young man, Magpie. What Magpie's role is, is not only to be gorgeous, and he is, but he is also a symbol of that deep yearning many of us feel we need, a want to find a new way to live. Now Magpie is a brilliant, intelligent family film that addresses one of the greatest problems of our time, a lack of hope. Now, we have the script, we have a budget, and the, the target audience for this film is women 50, well, 30 plus. Oh, and before I forget, it's a musical. 